allow me to introduce myself. The name is Puck, a most mischievous elf. To get along is a lesson to learn, but when young witches don't, I take my turn. There's nothing better than meddling in schemes, especially when nothing is what it seems. They'll rue the day when they met Puck. Asking help from me invites bad luck. I wonder if Titania be awakened. Then what it was that next came in her eye, which she must dote on in extremity. Thank you, Harvey. That was really very good. You know, I think I'm starting to get the hang of this Shakespeare guy. You were great, Harvey. You're sure to get the part. Gee, you really think so? You'll be Oberon, king of the fairies, and I'll be Titania, your queen. What makes you think you'll be Harvey's queen? You're not the only one trying out for the part. Oh, please. Uh... Everyone knows the queen of the fairies is beautiful. So who better to play her than me? It takes more than a pretty face to be an actress. No more arguing, girls. We'll let the audition settle who's uh... going to be Queen Titania. Cassandra, you'll go first. Harvey, will you read the lines with her? Okay, Miss Magruni. How long within this wood intend you stay? Perchance till after Theseus' wedding day. If you will patiently dance in our round and see our moonlight revels, go with us. Crud, she really can act. I can't let Cassandra be Harvey's queen. Oh, oh! These are the forgeries of jealousy, and never since the middle summer's spring. Teach a lesson to that ham witch. Turn the fan and throw the switch. <laughs> to dance our ringlets to the whistling wind. I wonder how that got switched on. <laughs> Sabrina? Oh. Right, Miss Magruni. I'm up next. Do you mind, Cassandra? You're crowding the stage. Ugh. There's only going to be one Queen of the Fairies, and that's going to be me. We the globe can compass soon. Swifter than the wandering moon. Come, my lord, and in our flight, tell me how it came this night. To make quite sure this part you lose, forget your lines, it's time to snooze. Yet I'm sleeping. <sighs> Here was found. Sabrina? <laughs> That's all right, Harvey. I'll wake up our little sleepwalker. You run along. If you say so, Miss Magruni. I'll go with you. We've got a lot to talk about with the play. Not so fast, Cassandra. I'd like a word with you. You didn't really think I wouldn't notice, did you? That... Uh, notice what, Miss Magruni? That. A junior witch's sleeping spell lifts with the ring of a magic bell. What happened? Cassandra put a spell on you after you used magic to ruin her audition. You both know novice witches aren't supposed to use magic casually, certainly not to hurt each other or gain advantage. Yes, Miss Magruni. As your punishment, you're both in charge of the play from now on. Cassandra will have the role of Titania. But you, Sabrina, will be the play's director. Yes! If you want this play to be a success, you'll have to learn how to work together. Ill met by moonlight, proud Titania. What jealous Ober... No, 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 no! There's just something wrong with the scene. How could you know? We just started. That's it! Your positions are all wrong. 
You need to step back just a little bit more, Cassandra. A little more. Just a little more. That's perfect. The spring, the summer, the chiding autumn, angry winter, change their wanted liveries. No, stop, something's not right. What is it now, Oh. I'm just not feeling anything special. We need a new take on this. Like what? Like this whole beautiful Queen of the Fairies thing is so overdone. But I am beautiful. Exactly, typecasting. What if the Fairy Queen was this really ugly old hag? Gray, straggly hair, a burlap sack for a dress, padding to make you dumpy, and maybe black out a few of your teeth. You gotta be kidding, Sabrina. Trust me, it'll be Shakespeare like you've never seen it before. Makeup! I never should have let Miss Magruni make me director. As I recall, you didn't have much choice. Not after you used magic to sabotage Cassandra. <laughs> oh, I wish I'd been there to see that. It's not funny, Salem. <laughs> it would be if you were a cat. I'm messing up the whole play just because I don't want Cassandra to get too close to Harvey. I... I guess I'm jealous. So, what are you going to do about it? I've got to work with Cassandra for the good of the play and not worry about her getting to know Harvey better. I'll apologize to both of them and we'll get rehearsals restarted tomorrow. The right way. Ms. Magruni made Sabrina the director. You girls will just have to learn to get along. But she's ruining the play and my chance to be with Harvey. What's more important, the play or Harvey? Could you give me a minute to think about it? Cassandra? All right, all right. The play's important, I guess. But couldn't you at least give me a little spell to make Sabrina a good director? I forbid you to use magic on Sabrina. Now go upstairs to your room. I'm leaving. Like, what good is it being a witch if nobody will let you use magic? It just isn't fair. Foul is fair, and fair is foul. Who... who are you? Who? Who? You sound just like an owl. My name is Puck, and you're in luck. I can be of assistance to put some distance between Harvey and your rival. You can keep Sabrina away from Harvey? You didn't let me finish my rhyme! But yes, I can. Anytime. Aunt Enchantress said I couldn't use magic, but she didn't say someone else couldn't use magic for me. Just leave it to Puck. Good or bad, you won't believe your luck. Hmm. Look, I know I haven't been doing a very good job as director. You can say that again. I guess I had that coming. What I'm trying to say is, I want to start over again, and we'll put on this play together. Just like Miss Magruni. Bravo. A director willing to admit she's wrong. I haven't seen that in oh so long. Wow. 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 How are you? If for an introduction you find yourself stuck, just remember, the name is <coughs> Fabius. My name is Fabius. I'm a new student in this charming school, and I was hoping to audition for a part in your delightful play. Gee, I'm sorry, Fabius, but all the roles have been filled. Then let us walk. You must tell me all about your interpretation. So much depends upon the director's vision. Come on, Harvey. You must tell me all about your interpretation. So much depends upon the chemistry between the lead actors. 
I've seen all the great productions of A Midsummer Night's Dream. You might say I take a personal interest in this play. I've always wanted to be king of the fairies. I'm sorry, Fabius. I'm sure you know a lot about Shakespeare. More than you can imagine. But we've already filled that part. Harvey's our Oberon. Make the eye see what should be, as this fairy dust I cast on thee. <laughs> you see, I simply must be Oberon. The water's good, but it's so, like, watery. Maybe after rehearsal, we could go to the mall for a smoothie a and uh, go over our lines? Uh, sure, I guess, if you think it'll help the play. That won't be necessary. Fabius and I have been discussing the play, and I've made a decision. Fabius is taking over the part of Oberon. Harvey, you're out of the play. Hey, you can't replace Harvey. We were just getting together uh, uh, to go over our lines. I'm the director, and if I say Fabius is Oberon, he's Oberon. That's it. I've had enough. Can't you two stop fighting? I hope you have a lot of luck with your play. And with your directing. You'll need it. All right, let's get back to rehearsal. You! You said you'd keep Sabrina away from Harvey. I did? But now you're keeping Harvey away from me! Am I? You know you are! Why can't you just go back to the netherworld? You are quick to accept when I offered a favor, but surprise and distress is what I savor. Give me any trouble, young witch, and I'll tell your Aunt Enchantra you have defied her. And that same dew was wont to swell like tears that did my own disgrace bewail. <laughs> when I had it, my pleasure taunted her. This guy's a real oinker. May all to Athens back again repair. And think no more of this night's accidents, but as a fierce vexation of a dream. <sighs> but first, I will release thee. Be as thou was wont to be. See as thou was wont to see, now awake thee! What, what happened? He's terrible, he stinks, what have I done? Oh, how my eyes do loathe his visage now. Hold it, take five, everybody. <laughs> Cassandra, we need to talk. What about my next scene? Uh, we'll go over that when I get back. Okay, tell me what I'm doing wrong now. Maybe you'd just like to give Fabius my part, too. Will you stop being so melodramatic and listen? I wanted to tell you I was wrong. Maybe you'd like to give Fabius everybody's part. Then you could direct a one-man show, just you and Fabius. Cassandra, I was wrong. Huh? You were right. I never should have replaced Harvey. Fabius may look gorgeous, but his acting is the pits. Ah, but we are spirits of another sort. Hmm. Of another sort. There's only one thing to do. You have to find Harvey and bring him back. For the good of the play. You're right, Cassandra. Thanks. And don't mention it. I'm going to enjoy watching you fire this jerk. Where's Sabrina going? She was going to help me with my scene. And just a little casting problem to take care of. Harvey! Huh? Sabrina? I'm sorry, Harvey. I never should have given your part to Fabius. You've got to come back. The play needs you. I need you. I really like doing the play, but you and Cassandra were taking all the fun out of it, arguing all the time, and then that phony Fabius was the last straw. <sighs> if Cassandra and I hadn't been fighting, none of this would have happened. You know, Cassandra can be a good actress. And you can be a good director. 
We could have a great play if we all could just get along. It won't be easy, but I'll do it. Then you've got yourself a leading man. Now all I have to do is figure out how to tell Fabius. Your Oberon is here! Please, don't everyone applaud at once. What's this? This is the Oberon that the play started with. Uh, yeah, Fabius. You know, I appreciate all of your hard work and all, but, well, Harvey earned the role, and it was wrong of me to take it from him. But when it comes to your art, my fair Sabrina, there is no right and wrong, only your vision. My, uh, vision sees Harvey as Oberon. But hey, why not take one of the smaller parts? You could be one of the fairies. I don't think so. Cassandra! Cassandra! Maritza, you better take off. I demand to know what is going on. Whatever could you mean? Someone is undermining my influence over Sabrina. There is no way she could resist me on her own. As if. Anyhow, I thought you said you liked surprises. Play your little games, witch, but this prince of mischief will not let peace reign once he's decided to create a war. This insult will not go unpunished. So doth the woodbine, the sweet honeysuckle, gently and twist. Hold it. I'm supposed to love this guy, and I'm talking about plants? I know it's kind of weird, Cassandra, kind of symbolic. How about I try it and you see if it makes sense watching it? Knock yourself out. Ready? Ready. Sleep thou, and I will wind thee in my arms. Wow. So doth the woodbine, the sweet honeysuckle, gently entwist. Gee. The female ivy so in rings. The barky fingers of the elm. Oh, how I love thee, how I dote on thee. See, kind of like that. You're talking about ivy and bark, but you mean you're hugging the guy. Uh, yeah, sure. Sabrina, can you come over here for a moment in private? Sure. Wow. Uh, Sabrina, that was great. So you get the idea. Absolutely. But, uh, that wasn't why I wanted to talk to you. It wasn't? No. It's about Fabius. Don't worry about him. He's so full of himself. He's forgotten about us already. No. What I mean is that I wanted to say I was sorry. I was the one who brought him here. Because he's a big shot actor? No. More to get in the way of you and Harvey. Really? Wow, Sabrina's good. And it kind of worked for a while. But when I saw you act with Harvey, it made me wish I hadn't. Forget about it. I've done my share of dumb things to mess us up lately. Come on, let's get ready to put on a play. Successful plays require some luck, especially those bedeviled by Puck. Sound music! Come, my queen, takes hands with me and rock the ground whereon these sleepers be. He said the words, twasn't me. Now thou and I, ah! Whoa! Pranks I pull go far too well. Two witches tumbled with one spell. It's that mischief maker. There's two of us. Why don't we do some mischief to him? Let's do it. Mischief, mischief Prince has had his day. day. Friendship will, will drive him away. No! Nice work, Queen Titania. I learned it all from my director. <laughs> Uh, the young these days. No competitive fire, no plotted hurt, no building ire. When each thinks not of one but two, what is a mischief maker to do? 